The Bible teaches us that we are to seek wisdom as a man would seek after gold and silver. I don't know if you're like me. I like to watch a lot of these documentaries, you know, the, the California gold rush, uh, the Alaskan gold rush, and how many died on that path going to Alaska. There are, there are actual photographs where these people are just laying on the side in the snow where they just died on the path, and thousands of people are going up there to go find, find gold in Alaska, and they're all freezing to death and dying. Why would someone do that? There are men who took their families, wives and children, and drug them to California to become more taxed. I don't know. Uh, they didn't get rich. <laughs> they certainly didn't get rich. Why did they do that? Well, they wanted to find gold and silver. Do you know the Bible declares for itself, you hold in your hand something more valuable than gold and more precious than silver. And do you know the Bible says that the Word of God is more precious than rubies? Well, most of the time we say rubies, you know, why didn't he say diamonds? Isn't diamonds more valuable than rubies? Do you know God's really smart? He said the Bible's more precious than rubies because rubies are more valuable in preciousness. They're more rare than diamonds. Rubies are more rare than diamonds. And God is saying this rare thing you hold in your hand and so many times we neglect it and set it aside. I simply want to ask you as we close right now, we need to grow in the Word of God. How are you growing in the Word of God? Are you in a Bible study where you can sit down and say, I need to learn the Word of God. I need someone to expound the Word of God. Why does this preacher of this church just take a book of the Bible and go through an entire book of the Bible verse by verse? Most people would say that sounds so boring. Oh, folks, I want you to know my biggest problem with preaching to you is knowing where to cut it off when I get done with a verse. I know you think I spend so much time on one verse. I promise you I'm barely scratching the surface of it. There is so much there. If you want to delve into the depths of the knowledge of God, open your Bible and study it.